to out of my messaging tutorial I'm going to just do this so go to file import a wavefront object and find where you saved the object from marvelous designer and you can either click it and click import object or just double click it okay and then click one to just move the camera straight and then shift and the middle scrolly button to move like this control to zoom in and out with the middle scrolly button and or just the middle scrolly button to rotate okay so uh the mesh looks pretty awesome right now so i'm gonna right click this and click tab to go into edit mode and this is actually pretty high in poly count because when I click tab it lags a little bit so to lower the poly count just make sure everything is selected go to this little wrench right here add modifier and decimate and then don't like just slowly you'll slowly watch this number go down and I would do a little at a time once you've decimated it, uh, you can see that mine instantly goes into tab mode now in edit mode. So, And my face count went from almost 10,000 to uh, a little, like almost, it's 8,400 8, now. So go into tab and then click A to deselect everything and click everything on the... Um, And over here on the edges, if you hold shift and right click, it will select things. So I'm going to skip over this part. Once you've selected all the edges of the bottom, as you can see, I did, uh, you're going to go and click 1, click E to extrude, and then Z to stay on the Z axis. And then press S and push in. Now we're going to move the camera and click Alt and then click M at the same time and then click at center. Now if you go down here, um, click Vertex and if you didn't already, um, click Edges to select everything but go Vertex and then with the blue arrow just push up like that and then Take, go into face mode, hold control and the left mouse button and click all the faces that you just made and then hit space bar and type in edge split and before I, okay, so when I made that, this under here you could see that there's like this black like shadow look if you type in edge split you'll notice that it's gone and it looks a lot more clean so you're going to do everything you just did with if you have sleeves like the opening to a sleeve right there so a to deselect everything go into edge select all the edges then extrude still on the z-axis push in alt m at center vertex push in and then same thing oops, with the faces the edge split um and now i'm just not going i'm just gonna skip the video doing this because it's the exact same thing One you've uh, covered up all the holes on each in each place you can go ahead and file export wave for an object make sure over here in the export object section I have my settings saved but make sure your settings look like this when exporting because it will definitely benefit you in Maya so just save it and I'm going to end this part here and I will see you in the next part.